I get to the point I find a stone, but I only found it because I was looking for it. Hey, welcome back to Uncivilized Rebirth. Like I've said before, I hope you find this to be a place of logic and rationale, and hopefully a guide to help you on your path of healing. Because what I've discovered, personally, is that in our society, the first part of our life is like getting broken. And then we get to a point where it's like, oh, I have to repair from this. And we, what I've learned is that when somebody gets so broken, that's when they decide, hey, it, none of this is working. I need to figure out what's going on, reassess, and then step back into all this. And I've found that for myself. Like I got to a point personally where it's like, I... I'm so fed up with everything, I have to change, and what's the common factor in all this? Well, it's me. It's not my fault for how I am currently, but it is my fault from here on out how I respond to the world and how I conduct myself. Now that I know that traumas and life events, events program my brain to respond and to view the world in certain lenses, now it's my opportunity to change how I present in the world and to be better than what I think I can be, if that makes sense. One thing that helped me tremendously and what I want to talk about today is that everything in our life builds up to where we are right now. And what I mean by that is many times we go through these instances in life where we think we're being just attacked and tormented and things are going terribly wrong and yes it may appear that way but when you peel back the layers and look at it life has a lesson for us to learn in that and that we can apply moving on in life so it's not just woe is me things are horrible it's get wise and look deeper and find out what the message is that you're meant to receive in this trial. Then you take that a step further and realize that there are skills that are learned in those trials and in those horrible times. There are skills learned also in life in good times and in all the places we've been. We have learned and learned and learned. Like I said a little bit ago, everything in our life leads up to where we are now. That means we're not going to get put on a path without the skills we need to get through something. So at one point in time, I actually sat down and wrote down as many of the skills I possessed. And I did that because I got to the point where I felt overwhelmed. I was like, I just can't do it. It's tough. I don't want to go. Like, I know I have this mission, but what do I do? So I sat down and just started writing out all my skills and all my abilities and capabilities. And I sat back and I was like, wow, like that's a lot. Like I have a massive toolbox to pull from and from all these things in the past. So right where I am right now, I need to really take a step back and look at everything and then look at my skills, figure out what the next step is, and then get into my skill toolbox pull the skill out I need, and step through this. Now, sometimes like we may not be fully equipped. Let's say we need to get through a jungle, and all we have is like a really dull machete. And it's a machete we picked up on our journey, but it's not doing a great job. But then we realize, hey, if I sharpen this machete... I'm going to be able to cut a better path through this forest or this jungle. So then my mind starts saying, okay, well, all I got is this machete and like the gear I have on me. How do I sharpen it? How do I sharpen it? And then once that idea gets in my mind of like, how do I sharpen the machete? Then my mind accesses the ability that I have to sharpen knives 
and I go back and look at all the things I learned and what I use to sharpen it, then my mind's like, here in the jungle, you might find a stone that you can use to sharpen this machete. So now I'm not just lost in the jungle. I have a little bit of purpose that will help me advance my skill set or my tools to continue taking that next step. So now I'm hacking through the jungle knowing that when I find this stone, I'm going to be able to sharpen this machete and I'm going to ease my life as I hack this new path. So then I get to the point I find a stone, but I only found it because I was looking for it. If I had not been searching for it, I might have walked right by it. But it renewed my vigor in cutting that path. Just the idea of when I sharpen this machete, life will be easier. So I find the stone and I sharpen the machete. Take a break, sharpen the machete, stow it, keep the stone because now it is a valuable asset this stone that can sharpen the machete. Now I realize this machete can cut so much better. And now I'm not as tired and I'm making more progress. And if I hadn't have been accessing my skills and been looking for tools that will help me sharpen my skills, I would have been way back here. Whereas now I'm way up here because I'm cutting easier through the forest. And then my intellect intellect will just continue down that path of, okay, I found this stone and I can sharpen my machete. What is the next tool that'll make this so much easier? Do I know what that is? No, I don't. But now I'm looking for it. So let's take a event, an event you might be going through right now. And you're like, I'm overwhelmed. I don't know where I'm in. I'm at and I don't know what the next step to take is. Well, look and write down, look in your brain and write down all the skills you have. Imagine all the things you've been through and the capabilities that you gained because you went through those situations, scenarios, classes, learning things, it, anybody of you been around, things you've seen. And when your brain starts searching, it'll start compiling all this. And you're like, oh, wow. So I don't know what it is you're going through, but if you select all of your skills, find the one that will help you the most in the situation you're in, and then hone it. You're like, What can I do to make this skill better? Because it's going to help me get through this next step or help me forge the path that I'm creating. And one of the skills for me that I know is my ability to speak. And the ability I have to hone my ability to speak. Because I know that like, just because I think I can speak well does not mean that it's as good as a tool as it can be. And I need to analyze that and sharpen it. Because going through situations, you're like, hey, the voice is an incredibly powerful tool. And our words are incredibly powerful. And if I say things that are inadvertently, subtly hurtful to somebody, that has repercussions on me and that person that I've spoke to. So me honing my words and my message is incredibly important now, I believe, in my journey and the forging the path that I'm on. And that being said is I have looked at my skills, and then I find which ones I can advance and improve upon. And I just want to encourage you, whoever you are, in whatever path you're on, whatever journey you're in, to write down all your skills. And then look at the ones that you need for what you're going through right now. Then start looking for that stone in the jungle. And it gives you a little more hmm, vitality in your hacking through the jungle to know that I'm not going to be hacking much longer because once I find that stone, life is going to get much easier forging this path. And what will happen is you leveled up a little bit with your tools, then the challenge is going to increase a little bit. So then either you start 
looking to level this specific tool up, or you look in your toolbox, you find the next tool, you're like, okay, let me find the next stone. And that stone is the metaphor for that tool, that person, that piece of knowledge, that little bit of information, whatever it may be, or that book to read that you find, you're like, oh, the light just turned on. This is the key to get through this obstacle. And there's always a key. There's never not a way. It is only when we give up in our mind that there's not a way. I'm going to look down at the time. I want to wrap this video up. I didn't want to make it long, but I just wanted to share this. To seek to sharpen your tools when you are going through different events in life. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it is helpful and I hope it's encouraging. And if you liked it, you liked it. If you didn't, you didn't. If you have any questions, leave them below. Any comments? If you like this channel, like and subscribe. I'm trying to have a cadence of at least one video a week and I'm working on my quality, not just content volume. I hope you've had a great day so far and I'm not that great at ending videos yet. So Roadhouse, I hope you have a great day. <laughs> Spiritual hard.